So do you understand the unique principles behind infrared heating systems as compared to standard unit type heaters? So commercial infrared heaters operate differently from traditional heaters because they utilize a unique heat transfer method called radiant heating. So to explain this, imagine the warmth you feel from the sun on a chilly day, and that's essentially how infrared heaters work. So it could be 40 degrees outside and you could still feel warm in the sun. They don't heat the air directly, but they instead emit infrared radiation, which is invisible to the naked eye, but readily absorbed by solid objects in their path. And that's key. We're going to talk about that in a minute. So there are two common types of infrared heaters. There's what's called a high intensity and then a tube heater. So they both have the same effect, but work slightly differently. So with high intensity heaters, the combustion takes place on ceramic tiles. It's kind of an open flame situation, which then radiates the infrared energy. And because this is a high efficiency and high intensity heaters, they can heat from up to 180 feet. So you typically will find these outdoors. Okay. You rarely see these indoors. As a matter of fact, I don't think I've ever seen one indoor. With tube heaters, the combustion takes place in the tube and the tube uh, is where the radiation occurs. So they work at lower temperatures and then, you know, they could heat up to about 50 feet. So why, how is this different than conventional type heaters? Well, typical unit heater, you have a heat source like an electric strip heater or a gas burner and you have a fan that blows forced air over it and you're heating the air and you're blowing that air into this space. Okay, so back to infrared heaters. So let's break down the process in a little more detail. So power source. So commercial infrared heaters come in two main types, electric and gas powered. Electric models convert electricity into infrared radiation using, you know, heating elements like corpse tubes, halogen lamps, etc. On the other hand, gas powered heaters burn propane or natural gas to heat radiant tubes that emit infrared waves. So that's kind of how that works. So let's talk a little bit about infrared radiation because that's important here. So regardless of the power source, whether it's electric or gas, the core principle remains the same. The heating element generates infrared radiation, which travels in straight lines like light waves, basically. These waves, as stated, don't necessarily warm the air, but directly interact with solid objects they encounter in and heat them that way. So, all right, so let's talk a little bit about object absorption. So when the, when the infrared radiation hits solid objects such as floors, walls, furniture, or even people, it gets absorbed. And this absorption converts the radiation into heat, effectively warming those objects. Okay, so that's kind of how it works in that respect. So one of the side effects of this is the warmed object then act as secondary sources, radiating the absorbed heat back into the surrounding air. This creates a more comfortable and targeted heating experience compared to traditional convection heating, which simply warms, warms the air and relies on circulation to distribute the heat. And I can tell you, if you've been in a space that is heated by infrared heaters, you can definitely tell the difference. It's a different feeling to it. It's very comforting and it's very uh, even. It feels very even. Okay, so in commercial applications, you know, let's talk about some of the benefits of infrared heaters. So one of the benefits is targeted heating, okay? So infrared, heat, infrared heaters efficiently heat specific areas without wasting energy warming the entire space. This is particularly beneficial in large, you know, open spaces like warehouses and factories or even outside outdoor patios. Um, so that's a really good benefit of infrared heaters there. Another benefit is energy efficiency. So since you're directly heating the object instead of the air, infrared heaters use less energy to, you know, to do the heating and less air movement and drafts leading to lower energy consumptions compared to traditional conventional convection heaters. So that's a good thing too. So rapid heating is another benefit. Infrared waves travel at the speed of light, providing immediate and noticeable warmth upon activation. This is ideal for spaces requiring quick bursts of heat, 
like outdoor dining areas or loading docks, etc. And I can tell you, if you've ever stood under one, when it's turned on, you can immediately feel it. So it does offer immediate, immediate heating in that respect. So another benefit would be reduced air circulation. So unlike forced air heating systems, infrared heaters don't create drafts or stir up dust, making them suitable for, you know, allergy sufferers and environments requiring minimal air movement. So that's a good thing too. So let's talk about some applications of commercial infrared heaters. So if you've been around a while, you've seen a lot of these, I'm sure, warehouses and factories. So we sometimes see them as spot heating in work areas, machinery and loading docks, outdoor patios and terraces. See these very often. These would be the high intensity type heaters typically. They provide comfortable warmth for dining and leisure. <coughs> Excuse me. Agriculture buildings, maintaining optimal temperature and livestock uh, for livestock and crops. Sports facilities and gymnasiums, you know, targeted heating for specific areas like benches and spectator stands. Workshops and garages, providing localized heat for work areas. And, you know, so in summary, overall, commercial infrared heaters offer a unique and efficient heating solution for various commercial and industrial applications. So their targeted heating approach, energy saving benefits, and rapid heat delivery make them a compelling choice for spaces requiring comfortable and cost effective warmth. Hey, thank you for watching this. I'd love to hear your opinion where you have seen these used and your experience with them.